most most teams, if they look at things, they they on their third quarterback at this point. They say, well, we're, we're probably in trouble. You guys are seven and four, or have a chance to go eight and four and play the bowl game. Does that kind of lend credence that you've said, hey, I stuck with the process. I was confident in the decision I made. Does that kind of kind of reaffirm that you, you did the right thing here with, with waiting and bringing Chris, seeing what you had in Chester, seeing what you had in Mike? Yeah, I, mean, I thought we had victories along the way. I mean, I. I I don't view it that way. Uh, I thought Mike did some great things for us early to ca help us capture some key wins. I thought Chester came in and captured some wins for us, and a critical win, bouncing back from a from Penn State right into Maryland. I think experience was the ally there for them. I think all the while giving Chris Coyer now a chance to develop and, and, and be able to uh, come on the scene himself. So I, I think that's exactly how it is, you know, more than anything else. I mean, we plan on playing Chris because we plan on playing Chris in that game that we played him and not because we said, oh, we got to get another guy out or something. This wasn't the case. So just a natural order of events that have flowed that way. And, uh, you know, I try not to spend too much time, you know, with the rearview mirror going on. I mean, you know, um, I just really enjoy the fact that this team is competing at a high level. Um, they continue to fight and respond. Um, we're really playing hard right now in November. Um, I see all positives. I think the development of our program is, is, is kind of the progress that I want it to be right now. I mean, you know, there, there was an assumption made. I don't know why, but we lost some serious players last year. I mean, I, you lost a first rounder, a second round. They're both starting in the NFL right now. And then several other guys that went on to be free agents, so I think in one of them is still playing, at least. My point is, is that's a lot at one program at, at a place, you know, in a MAC school. Any MAC school, really any school, quite frank with you. You, you. you can't discount those losses. While we've had guys say, well, they've played before. They have, but they haven't, you know, been in it, in it. I mean, you know, Marquise Brown is one of our most consistent players on defense. He was a tight end last year and not playing a ton. So, I mean, there's been tremendous change from a new staff to young players on the field. We've had an offensive line here that was shuffled around with not tremendous productivity that is now having damn good productivity now. And so there's a lot of things that had to be done. There's just some, sometimes there's an assumption made that, you know, well, this, this was going to happen, you know. You know, a lot because you got a returning tailback and all that other kind of jazz, right? That's a, that's one of the top backs in the league. Got two backs coming back here, but you know, you got to have a line that can block and make that happen. You know, you got to have a defense that can play. There's a lot of question marks on defense this year. A lot. We changed the whole scheme here, you know, and uh, so honestly, I mean, in the big scheme of things, we're playing pretty darn good right now, and played pretty darn good early. Um, you know, there's a game or two in there that, you know, certainly didn't go the way we think it should have went. But uh, but the rest of them kind of went the way they're supposed to go. You follow me? And better. I mean, we've got a bunch of 40-something to nothing or sevens or 14s. And so I'm happy with where this, this team is. I, I am. And I'm happy to where we're headed in the future. I'm not delusional. I mean, you know, we're going to have an absolute dogfight on our hams on Friday to get our eighth win. But I said it before, how many times has Temple gotten eight wins? I mean, not a tremendous amount now. So this is a process. We've gone from t being a team that, in my opinion, probably has <clears throat> rose up on people unexpectedly a little bit to now coming in as a front-running team that was picked to be a, a team. The team has to learn how to handle that. That doesn't happen overnight now. You have to learn how to become a team that's you know not sneaking up on people, but a team of people are they're playing their best game against you. Everyone plays their best game against us now. That's that's happened right along steady through the year. So I think all those things are real, and that's why when it, it, why am I proud? That's why I'm proud. There's a process here of learning how to handle all that, and and and, and we're in the middle of that right now. And that's what happens when you have recent success. When you learn, when that success becomes a part of every year and that's adapted into the culture of your team. And then I think the next step is, is continuing to find ways to win those big, tough contests, those championship contests. That's going to happen. 
and and that's 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 a nut, that's part of that phase, and uh, but it's all about building it in the right direction as you move forward in the future, and uh, that's, that's that prop that process was started and is still continuing along those lines, you know. So every once in a while, I think back to that playing Penn State. I told you Penn State had a pretty good defense. They got a pretty good defense. <laughs> I mean, you know. We, we played against an outstanding defensive football team on that day and played hard. So there's, there's been a lot of victories and, uh, and a lot of victories other than just wins-loss victories. And like any other season, there's, there's probably a, at least a game in there that you feel like you should have played better and you shouldn't have let get away from you. And that's where your disappointments lie. Um, but we want to finish really strong here on Friday, but it's going to take – Probably our best game of the season to do that. Is it been about what you thought it would be, or has it exceeded what maybe you thought it would be? Where we are, our team, or where you came from? You know, we you talked about the growth. Yeah. Has it been what you hoped, or is it maybe exceeded? What I think you it's better than what I hoped. Mm -hmm. It's probably what I'm trying to tell you. I think it's better. You know, when you talk about the amount of change, change the offense, change the defense. You know, there's a lot of change, and. Uh, and we've really kind of handled that. You point out we've been through three quarterbacks. We've kind of handled all that kind of seamlessly, really, maintaining tremendous enthusiasm in our program and maintaining a pretty high focus nationally right now about Temple. Our ratings have never been higher, TV. Um, the talk and the buzz around the country has never been greater. So that's what you hope. I'm hearing guys talking about these tremendous successes for first-year programs winning five and six games, you know, and they are. We're trying to get eight. So, you know, is that a great success? Yeah, but we're having this nice conversation right now. But all our team and all we care about right now is finding eight. It's not time to kumbaya, you know what I mean? It's time to go get eight, and that's our approach, that's our mindset, that's our demeanor, that's how we'll go practice. We'll, we'll go practice really hard today. You'll not know that we won a game on Saturday. That will not, you won't feel that way on that practice field today. You know, so it's going to be a tough day, but those are philosophical questions that I'm answering for you. Probably best in the wrap up, <laughs> you know, at the end of the year. But, but right now we got to go win a football game. And I'm telling you, eye to eye, man to man. <laughs> This is the best defensive team next to Penn State that we've played all year long. That's a fact. So that means we better, we better play great on defense. We can't play on the long field all day long. That won't be productive. We've got to get some short field, and our special teams have got to help us so that we can win. So that's kind of our, our mindset. And, and we're going to have to have balance in this game. This game will have to truly be balanced out. So, and we, you know, last week did not have to be balanced out, and it wasn't intended to be going into it. This week will be.